So, what am I doing in the park with this beauty? Well, this beauty is a 512 gigabyte RD400 by Toshiba and OCZ. This is a NVMe 1.1B and this has got a read speed of 2,600 megabytes per second, a write speed of 1,600 megabytes per second. This thing is awesome, right? This has got to be one of the fastest drives in the world today. And we need to bench test it to find out how fast it really is. Stick around if you want to find out more. office now and what I got is a gigabyte bricks this is a Core Wi-Fi version and it's got a Skylake processor in it so it's proper new and up-to-date and it could fit the NMVE like drive in here so we're gonna take this apart right now and I need to find a decent sized screwdriver that will fit it and then uh, yeah we're gonna bench test it and see if it can live up to 2600 megabytes read speeds and write speeds of 1600 megabytes Right, so I've just undone the box and I forgot that I've got an OCZ uh, Trion 150 in there and uh, I can leave it in there and use uh, the other slot as well, which I'm going to do. So I've got the box here, lovely box, 512 gig and it looks lovely and it's the ID400 OCZ and as you may know that Toshiba have taken over OCZ now so everything is kind of above board, you won't really have that many fill rates so that's why I'm testing it anyway and also in the gigabyte bricks as well and that's why I haven't done part 3 because I'm actually doing this look at that so there's three ways to mount it, so that way, that way, and then taking the drive out itself. And I am going to take the drive out. So you're probably wondering, what is he talking about? Why is it in the PCI slot? Because you can use your PCI slot and you can get some ridiculous speeds with it. Or you can use it if you've got one of these slots on your drive and use it that way. So I've just slotted it out, a little cold pack. But if you were to assemble this into the Gigabyte bricks, you need one of these on there to keep it cool because these actually get really hot and I don't know why. So that's what it looks like. So this is a ridiculous or redonkulous drive. Now this drive probably costs as much as this, well it actually probably does actually cost more than this whole system. But if you want fast blistering speeds in a compact way, then yay. No, the RST from Intel driver will not work with this um, solid state drive. That's why Toshiba, OCZ, say to go to their website and download their driver so you've got their optimized performance. Right, so I've got the drive, put it in the Gigabyte bricks and everything like that, but before you can even use it, you need to actually put Windows on there. So I went in there, put Windows on there, and it downloaded onto there really qu pretty quite quick. And now I've got the file up, and now I'm going to bench test it. So now I'm going to use OCZ and Toshiba's um, SSD utility. Yeah, 476 gigabytes plus a little bit extra. So you won't get a full 512, but anyway. So health saying 98% and sensor is saying 62%. Right, so let's bench it. Tuner. Right, start. Right, so we're doing a read speed and we're going to use crystal disc as well. So you don't think, oh, just because it's Toshiba and OCZ. Wow. Jeez, that is really fast. Okay, so we've got 1.51 gigabytes per second and a write speed is 786. Anyway, you'll be able to see this anyway. I'm just a bit shocked. Now let's put crystal disc on there. Right, so now I've got crystal disc mark. So that is nothing to do with Toshiba or OCZ or any other manufacturer. So let's uh, test it out on here. And then you can come up with results and see what you think. It's fast, it really is fast. This has definitely got to be one of the fastest drives in the world. There's no doubt about that. At this moment, on this time of the video. And it's still going up. What is definitely, definitely, definitely got to be. This is the sort of thing you need for 4K, 5K and 8K when it comes out.
that you can actually use it. Jesus, man, that is ridiculously fast. And this is in the Gigabyte Bricks as well. This is not even in a, like, X99 motherboard or, like, even um, a Z170 motherboard. I can't believe the speeds I am seeing. <laughs> Up to hell. Okay, I'm pretty shocked at this speed. This is ridiculous. So I haven't done no updates, nothing. Just literally, just downloaded the software, downloaded Crystal Disk onto the Gigabyte Briggs. It could be bottlenecking out, because um, it's a Core i5 in there, and it's like a compressed like, sort of desktop, P no, not desktop PC, um, a laptop CPU. So not a proper desktop CPU. And look at the results that we're getting. I would say it is near enough, four, over four and a half times faster than the actual normal solid state drives. Right, that's the end of that. So, as you can see by the OCZ and Toshiba results and the Crystal Disk Mark, wow, just wow. Right, so as we know, or you may not know, that Toshiba OCZ they're called now because OCZ is not on their own and Toshiba are not on their own. Uh, Toshiba's kind of taken over for better NAND flash memory, which on this uh, drive will be MLC drive, um, MLC um, NAND flash memory, and it's meant to be more secure and less fail rates and stuff like that. So, being this is a uh, Toshiba and OCZ's drive together, they've come up with this, and this is a PCI bracket, and you've got the module that stays here. But because I've put it in the Gigabyte Bricks, it's because it can support M.2, and all the motherboards these days can support M.2, and not just one slot, but a couple of slots. So it should, could be an X99 motherboard, which has got more PCI lanes, more bandwidth from the CPU and memory, or it could be just a Gigabyte Bricks, but it's only got one and it fits in desktop PCs. If you haven't got an M.2 um, on your motherboard, you can use this PCI slot, and this PCI slot will give you the chance to have faster speeds than a solid state drive, and definitely much faster than a mechanical drive. And the fact is that OC, Toshiba OCZ have come up with near enough the fastest drive in the world with read speeds or sequential read speeds of up to 2,600 megabytes per second, and write speeds of up to 1,600 megabytes per second. And they've got a thermal pad on there because things are a little bit more different than what they used to be. It's a bit more like a graphics cards um, where you have to have thermal paste and thermal padding to keep the graphics card running at its optimum speed. And this is what it's like where you've got such um, a very aggressive solid state drive that you can do data trans speeds um, back and forwards at just lightning fast and that's what we need these days but now these drives are caught up with um, having PCI so if you've got a PCI slot that has got used uh, generation 3 times 4 you're gonna get up to 2600 megabytes per second sequential reads and writes which is 1600 megabytes per second which is just great Toshiba OCZ specify to download their software app from their website, which links will be in the description down below. Now, I've been using their app software and I think it's amazing, and it shows you about heat throttling or whether your drive is dying or it's been used way too much or anything like that. Well, obviously with this drive, it's gonna be quite fine because they give you so much read and writes that you can run data back and forwards that it should be fine. But it does give you the, um, information on the app to show you how much life your drive's got and stuff like that but the good thing about it it's got five years more already. so that's really cool and that keeps up with most of the other manufacturers out there but this is definitely one of the fastest drives in the world there's no doubt about it these drives start from 128 gigabytes all the way to one terabyte so no problem for anyone that wanting a small drive to a big drive my conclusion of the ocz NVMe Drive Express is ridiculous. It's redonkulous in other words. It is one of the fastest drives I've ever tested against solid state drives. It's got four times the speed of four solid state drives at its maximum capacity of read and write, so there's no problems there. Uh, the fact that o Toshiba OCZ could make a drive that can fit an old school computer and you can upgrade later on down the line 
and also use the M.2 and Generation 3, Generation 2 and laptops and a small form factor computer. It's, it's, it's great, it's great. They've uh, catered for everyone and you've got the speed there. All you need to do now is make sure that um, you specify, well Toshiba OCZ you said, specify, get in their driver software and you won't have any problems. And five year warranty, that's really great. But um, the whole application is really good. I'm really surprised. I was actually quite shocked at the speeds. It's ridiculous. Um, in real world results, for video editing, it would be ridiculous because with the CUDA cores and extra RAM for 3D rendering or anything like that, it would just wipe the floor. You could literally scroll through even 4K, 8K. It would be, as long as you got this at the top of the range sort of computer, you had a decent processor and stuff, it would be ridiculous. And um, getting data back and forwards, lovely. So this is the end of the review. Hope you liked the video. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it, leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.